Good morning, students. Students, this lesson is of class 10th for the subject of mathematics topic volume and surface area of solids and is being submitted to you on 3rd May 2021. Students, we have already done about 3D shapes. So in today's lesson, we will learn about cylinder. So now let's have a look. Now children, this is a shape of cylinder. Now where you are having two circular surfaces, that is plane surface. Now let me see, this is your two circular bases, that is plane surface. And this one is, whole. this one is your curved surface, okay? I repeat, in cylinder, there are three faces in which two are plane. This is the first one. This is the second one. And the third one, this is your curved. This is your curved surface. Is it clear, children? So now let's talk about the curved surface area. Now, children, if you cut at the cylinder, you will get the net of cylinder in this form. Okay. And this one, this uh, length is your circumference of the circle. So it will become 2 pi r. What is the circumference of the circle? 2 pi r. So this is 2 pi r. And this one is the height of the cylinder. So now children, you know that area of any rectangle is its length times breadth. Okay. So now children, as this is your CSA, that is curved surface area. So the formula is length into breadth, that is 2 pi r multiplied by h. So it will become 2 pi r h. So now you've got your curved surface area as 2 pi r h. So now children learn this formula. The curved surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h. Now let's talk about total surface area. Now children, there are three faces. So it means there are three surfaces. And let's find the total surface area. So now children, this is a circular part and the circle area is pi r square. So your second base is also a circle and the area of this is pi r square. And the center one is your curved surface area. We have just calculated that is two pi r h. Okay, so it means Total surface area is the sum of curved surface area, this one, and then the sum of its two bases. So your answer is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. Or if you take out common, it will be 2 pi r times r plus h. Is it clear, children? Now let's see the volume. Now children, volume is the space occupied by a cylinder in three dimension, okay? So just look at this cylinder. This hole is the volume. It is the inner surface enclosed by a solid figure is the volume. So now children, if you want to find the volume of the cylinder, you have to multiply the base area by its height. This is its base area. And the area of the base is pi r square. And you already know the height of the cylinder is h. So your final answer is pi r square h. Okay. So what is the volume of the cylinder? That is pi r square h. I hope children, you are clear with all the three terms. Curved surface area, total surface area, and the volume. Now children, let's talk about hollow cylinder. Now children, you must have seen this hollow cylinder in the form of tubes, straws, and some buildings also. Now, actually a hollow cylinder is one which is empty from inside and has some difference between the internal and external radius. Now children, this is your hollow cylinder. You can see that we have one radius as capital R and we have an internal radius as small r. 
So this is your hollow cylinder. Now, children, let us discuss few terms with this hollow cylinder. Now, can you tell me what is the thickness of the cylinder? Now, children, this part is the thickness of the cylinder. So can you tell me what is the thickness? It is capital R minus R, small r. So this is the thickness of the cylinder. Okay, children. Now let's see the volume of the hollow cylinder. Now let's find the volume of the hollow cylinder. So now it is, this uh, volume of cylinder is pi r square h. So hollow cylinder will be pi capital R square h minus pi small r square h. And if you take out the common pi h, you will get pi h times r square minus small r square. Is it clear? Now let's talk about the curved surface area. Now children, here we are having two curved surface. Here, one is your outer curved surface area, this one, and one is your inner curved surface area, okay? So you know the formula of curved surface area. The outer one is two pi capital RH, and the inner curved surface area is two pi small RH, okay, children? So now, your curved surface area of hollow cylinder is 2 pi h times capital R plus small r. Similarly, if you talk about the total surface area, then you have in total surface area, let me show you, you are having a outer curved surface area that is 2 pi capital R h. Then you have, you have internal curved surface area that is 2 pi small rh, then children, you are having this ring surface also. Okay, this is also left. So now you have to add this one also. So the area of the ring is pi r square minus pi small r square. Okay, so now it is double. So it will be your total surface area will be 2 pi h times capital R plus r. Then two times pi r square minus pi r square. So children, if you take out common, so final answer will be two pi r h plus small r h plus r square minus small r square. Is it clear, children? Now let us di discuss about its cross section. Now children, if you cut your cylinder at any moment, you will get the same surface. Now just have a look. If you just cut this cylinder perpendicular to its height or parallel to its base, at any position, if you cut it, you will get the surface as only circle. Okay. You can now, if you, children, if you cut your cylinder from here and there also you will get a circle. So whenever you cut your cylinder, perpendicular to your height, you will get the surface as circle. So now children, this surface is called cross section. Okay. And you know that the cross sectional area is pi r square. Okay. And the area of the cross section of hollow cylinder will be pi r square minus pi r, r small r square. Okay, children. Now children, but if you just cut your cylinder in this form, little bit slanting, then you will get an ellipse. Not circular, you will get just oval. Okay, children? And similarly, if you cut your cylinder in this form, then you will get a rectangle as a cross section. Okay? So right now, we are just dealing with the cross-sectional area when the cylinder is cut perpendicular to its height. Okay, children? And the cross-sectional area in this case is pi r square. Okay, children? Now, let us move on to the exercise that is 21a. Now, let's discuss quickly. Now, children, in the first one, you have to find the volume of the cylinder in which the diameter is given and the height is given. Okay? So, you know that if diameter is given to you, radius will be 28 upon 2, that is 14 centimeter. Okay. 
Fine. Now apply the formula. Volume of cylinder is equal to pi r square h, and you have just calculated the value of radius that is fourteen. So you can substitute here, and after multiplication, your final answer is twenty-four thousand six hundred forty centimeter cube. Children, don't forget to write the unit because it's very important. Now let's have a look on the question number four. Now, children, let us read the question number four from your exercise twenty-one. Now, children, in this, a cylindrical triangle has a capacity of six thousand one hundred sixty. So now, children, this is your actually volume. What is this? Your volume. Okay, because capacity means volume. Find its depth. Depth means its height. Okay, and the radius is given fourteen meter. Then you have to find the cost of printing its curved surface area. So now, children, what you have to find here? First, the volume is given to you six thousand one hundred sixty meter cube. Here, height is question mark. You have to find the height. Fine, and then. You have to find the curved surface area, and then you have to find its cost of painting the curved surface area. You have to find all these three things, and radius is also given to you. That is fourteen meter. So now, children, what you will do? You will just apply the volume formula that we have done here. Volume is equal to pi r square h. That is six thousand one hundred sixty. So pi, you know that it is twenty two upon seven, multiply by r square. R square is already given fourteen into fourteen into h, and the volume is given six thousand one hundred sixty. Now children cancel it here, and whatever is left, send it to the other side. So after cancellation, your height is actually ten meter. Okay, so you got your height as ten meter. Now, children, what you have to do? You have to find its curved surface area now. Yes. So let's see. You know the curved surface area because they they want the cost to paint the curved surface area. So you know that curved surface area is equal to two times pi r h means twenty two upon seven r. You know that is fourteen and h is your ten. So now, children, it's very easy. Cancel it, and you will get the curved surface area as after multiplication, it's meter square. Now, then you have to find the cost. So, cost it's it's given. It is taking thirty per meter square, but we are having eight eighty. So you have to multiply by thirty. So now, just multiply it, and you will get your answer. I guess, children, it's very easy. You just have to learn the formula. Now, children, question number seven. Just have a look. Everything is given, and you have to apply the formula. Now, let's discuss question number ten. Now, children, in this, read the question very carefully. And now we are going to mark that what is given to us. Now, water is flowing at the rate of three kilometer per hour. Okay, through a circular pipe of twenty centimeter. Internal diameter. Okay, now children, there is a pipe, and from there, water is flowing at three kilometer per hour, and the internal diameter of the uh, that is twenty centimeters. So you can write it ten centimeter as radius. Okay, then into a circular cistern of diameter. Ten meter and depth two meter. In how much time will the system will be filled? So now, children, we have a system, and that is cylinder in shape, and we have. Then you have a pipe, and you have to find out that how much time will be there to fill this system. Now, children, first of all, let us find out the volume of the. System. So volume, you know that the formula is same. That is pi r square h. Fine. Pi means twenty two upon seven, and it is given that the diameter of the system is ten meter. 
So the radius will be five. Okay. And height is also given that is two. Depth and height is one and the same thing. So now children, you have to calculate it. And after cancellation, you, you will get volume of the system as 1100 divided by seven. This is your volume of the system. Now children, let's talk about our pipe. Okay. So now children, you know that the pipe is, the shape of the pipe is again cylinder. Okay. And it is given that it takes three kilometer per hour. So the length covered in one hour will be three kilometer. Okay. We don't know uh, what is the length of the pipe, but in one hour, how much length will be covered by the pipe? That is three kilometer. Or you can write it is 3000 meter. And the radius of the pipe is 20 upon 2, that is 10 centimeter. And you need the answer in meter, it will be 1 upon 10. So now children, this is the length of the pipe in 1 hour and the radius. Now let's see how much volume of water will be delivered in 1 hour by this pipe. Okay. So now as this is your uh, pipe only, so the volume will be pi r square. So now children, you can find the volume by using uh, the formula that is pi r square h and your answer is 660 upon 7. Okay. So now if you want to find the time consumed by this pipe in filling the system, you have to divide both the volumes. Okay, children. After cancellation, you will get your answer as after dividing this, your time will be now, children, after dividing, your final answer is 100 upon 60, and which will give you 1 hour 40 minutes. Now, children, so please learn the formulas first, and then you can try all these questions as your homework. Exercise 21A, question number 3, question number 5, 6, 9, 11, 12, and 13. Thank you, students.